so valentine's day is fast approaching it is the love day every day should be a love day anyway but it is the day set aside to celebrate love for some reason and if you know history you know that there are different versions of the story of saint valentine's and you know why people choose february 14th to celebrate valentine's day hello my beautiful orange fam welcome back to my youtube channel if you're a returning subscriber you know how we do i love you i am grateful that you always find my videos worth your time and if you're coming across this channel for the first time this is your favorite orange girl the only orange human being you know orange fresh and this is the orange experience by orange fresh on today's video i am going to be telling you ways in which you can enjoy valentine as a single person while i'm also telling you a story of one of the worst slash best valentine's day of my life so whenever valentine's is approaching especially recently a lot of people are put under pressure especially single people oh my god valentine's day is approaching and i don't have a partner i don't have somebody to celebrate valentine's day with assuming that valentine's day is a lover's day now Valentine's Day being a love day, in my opinion, doesn't necessarily mean that you should, you must celebrate Valentine's Day with a partner. I don't agree with that. I mean, it's beautiful to have a partner, somebody that you're going to celebrate Valentine's Day with, somebody you're going to hug, somebody you're going to love and kiss, go out on a date, share a gift with your partner. That's beautiful. That's okay. But I don't think that Valentine's Day excuses or exempts single people. Here's why. So once upon a time, I had a very terrible breakup. My school relationship. So the person I was dating in school, we were very close. We were very popular. Everybody knew us. People used to call me by his last name because he was popular and everybody knew that I was his girlfriend. And we had been dating for a very long time. So you know, the relationship was flourishing in our own terms or in my own terms, or per my belief. So the relationship club two years or three years i can't exactly remember the dates but it was a school relationship so you know how you're dating somebody from a particular class i think i started dating the guy from 200 level yeah my second year in school up until my final year first semester so it's about two to three years per se something happened and it was a breakup and it was just terrible for me because i had been in a relationship for a very long time i'd had a boyfriend i'd had a partner i couldn't relate to being single my love language is acts of service and that relationship provided a lot of acts of service for me the person i was dating practically did a lot of things for me in terms of service i don't mean money because school relationships i don't know about other people but my relationships in school was never about money it was broke 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 i don't like to term it as broke relationship but it wasn't money there was no money but that relationship was not lacking in terms of acts of service as long as i wasn't there in that relationship I don't remember washing my clothes by myself. The person I used to date used to wash my clothes for me. Whenever I was hungry, he could just cook up something from his house because he lived with his mom at that time and I was just in a student apartment. So he was more comfortable than I was. So he would maybe bring a car that his mom fried or bring nice home cooked meal that his mom made for me. And he was a person who probably understood my love language very well because he was always ready to maybe because of the absence of money and when there's no money you are not able to do other things because he used to basically do everything for me he used to do bank runs for me market runs you know when the relationship had ended i now started to do a lot of things on my own i can remember the first time i washed my clothes by myself <laughs> no you know i told you he lived with his mom so his parents lived in the same city as the venue of my school so before i would resume i never had the issue of having to resume and then clean up my room no before i would resume he'd do that he would clean up my room i used to live with my friends he'd clean up my room arrange my clothes clean up the rooms of my friends arrange their clothes do laundry like wash i wanted to just come and resume basically he never had a problem with doing all those things so i was swimming in all of that so when i got out of that relationship first i resumed to a room that had you know work for the first time in a very long time i would resume to now cleaning up my room it was weird as i was cleaning that day as i was sweeping out i started crying because i was remembering the times when i didn't need to do all those things i can also remember 
having to wash my clothes <laughs> after that relationship ended it was a heap of clothes and i just brought it up and i just as i just run with that and i just i just realized that i hadn't washed my clothes as long as i was in school i'm saying all of this to like give context to what the relationship was like so that's valentine's was approaching again something that i had not done alone i had to celebrate a valentine alone for the past couple of years and now i was single i had done on me like i said the relationship was a money relationship so it's not like every valentine's day i'd get a gift but i'll probably get like a perfume or a small teddy bear i remember getting a teddy bear or just a sweet text message wishing me happy valentine i sure was never lonely on valentine's day i had just come out of a relationship in december that was February. I was very miserable, if you'd allow me to put it like that. I was very sad. There's this small gate, this small gate of my school entrance where they used to sell the things, they used to sell cosmetics. So during Valentine's period like this, they used to have a lot of Valentine gift ideas, jewelries. You know these Valentine packages, red, chocolate, big teddy bears, small teddy bears, a lot of Valentine packages. So my friend and I, who was single at that time, who had also come out of a relationship at that time, we went to school that day. We now passed small gates. We now saw a group of boys, like about five boys, actively buying Valentine gifts for their girlfriends or for their lovers. And we just looked at ourselves like, oh my God, we're so fucking lonely. Jesus. And my friend at that time, she used to bake. Some boys had called her like, oh, I need a Valentine package for my friend and to get a cake for my... Hey! Hey! It was as if everywhere I went, Valentine was smelling. I don't think that before then I had ever actually noticed how much effort people put into Valentine. But because I was single that period, I was paying attention to all those things. And somehow, the universe was just bringing Valentine shenanigans my way. And it kept on making me realize how lonely I was how sad I was and I was going through a very terrible breakup at the time. Valentine's Day approached, I think that was the year I graduated from school, that was 2018. So February of 2018, we're supposed to have exams on the 15th, I think. So we're even happy that ah, that's the exam. Nobody would put Valentine, we're writing the exam. So me and my friend, we sat down outside. We're waiting for our customers to come and pick their cakes that they had done for their girlfriends. We just seen people, hey, passing these gifts with Teddy Bear. We trumpet, parara, different things. It was funny, we were laughing about it though. But I was actually feeling very lonely. And before then, the thing that happened that led to my breakup made me very sad and angry. And I smashed my phone on the wall. So I didn't have a phone, I was phoneless. I had a very small, I think, tiny phone. Or I was communicating with my friend's phone, one of those two shots. I didn't have a phone, I didn't have a partner, I didn't have a valentine. I was seeing valentine happening all over the place. I just started to cry. <laughs> I just burst into real serious tears. And then my friend just spoke, we laughed and all. So we're talking, tears was coming out of our eyes. And then I got a call from my mom. She had sent me money. My mom used to send me money like weekly or so, a certain amount of money. So I wasn't expecting that money. I'm like, ah, what's the purpose this money for? She said, buy yourself a phone. Today's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Hey! There was a phone I was already eyeing. It was a fairly used Sony phone. I wanted to buy it. And it was just the right amount of money that I needed that my mom sent to me. God, I was so excited. I was so happy. Like, I immediately started to feel better than every other person that I'd be admiring all day because my valentine was my mom my day had turned around completely I can never forget that valentine's day because I did not look inward I didn't look into what I had I didn't look into my mom and my mom even thinking about me on valentine's day thinking to send me money thinking to put a smile on my face on valentine's day and yes my mom knew about you know my relationship that had ended so that was been probably a move on her part to make me feel less lonely so that being said i'm trying to tell you ways that you can celebrate and enjoy valentine's as a single person first off change your mindset change the mindset that valentine's day is for people who are in relationships if it's a love day you deserve to be celebrated 
everybody in your life deserves to be celebrated. All the people you love deserve. You, you have parents. If you don't have parents, you have family members, you have friends. You can pick it to be an appreciation day, a day where you appreciate everybody in your life. Like people who have been there for you, the people who get you through the most you know, difficult things. You can make it a friendship day. Reach out to your friends, send them loving text messages, they will reply you. Call them, have conversations with them, lengthy conversations, talk about your friendship, the love that exists in your friendship. Even if you're a boy, call your friends, just find out what's going on. Then you can have plans with your friends. Some of you say, what if your friends have partners? All your friends cannot be occupied on that day. Now, you are your single friends. <laughs> Arrange yourselves. You don't even need to go out. Maybe you don't have money to spend. So you stay at home. You can play card games. You can play phone games. You can just, you can talk about your friendship. You can make it a house party between you and your friends. Just do something with your friends on that day. The other way to celebrate Valentine as a single person is to take yourself out. Spoil yourself. See, nobody can Valentine you more than you can Valentine yourself. That is just the truth. Nobody loves you more than you love yourself. Nobody should love you more than you love yourself. So instead of sitting down feeling lonely, wallowing in pain, order something for yourself. Even if it's as little as a cake, go to shop and buy cake, buy that smallest fruit juice wine. If you can't buy alcoholic wine, pour your wine in a glass. If you're a YouTuber, if you're a content creator, bring out your phone, record yourself. Eat your favorite thing on that day. Spend your money, your small two five that you cannot use to buy, or even cook. Do some, that's, just make sure that you are intentionally doing something for yourself on that day. Valentine's Day of this year is even a working day. So thankfully, there's a lot of distractions. But on your way back, buy yourself suya. Buy yourself bread. Buy yourself your favorite snack. Buy, make sure you buy wine. If you can't buy one, buy Zobo. If you pour Zobo inside a wine glass, it is red wine. And if you are free, you can take yourself on a spa date. Go and do manicure, pedicure. Do your nails. Do your facial, splodge money or something. It's one day. You cannot die. Order something online. Let it arrive on your door on that day. Somebody doesn't need to buy you flowers. You can buy yourself flowers. The other way to celebrate Valentine is celebrate it with your family. Call your mom, call your father, tell them that they are your Valentine. You can't just sit down there and say, Valentine's Day, I'm sad, I don't have a partner. You don't have to celebrate Valentine's Day with a partner. Also, you can Netflix and chill, stay at home, pop some corn. With the Zobo I said you should make, watch a movie of choice, watch a love movie. Okay, no, love movie can increase your loneliness. Watch any series of your choice, just make sure that the love that you're looking for is somebody else. You can supply it for yourself because the truth is you cannot give what you don't have if you don't have enough love for yourself you cannot even love or receive love from anybody else so the time in which you are single and you're waiting for love use that time to love yourself enough discover the ways in which you like to be loved discover yourself so that when somebody comes along they learn from you they learn the way you love yourself and love you the way you love yourself the final and the most effective way for me to celebrate Valentine's Day as a single person is to celebrate it with children. See, let me tell you, this trick works all the time. Do you know who I learned this from? I learned it from my dad. So there was a time when I had to live with my dad alone and I noticed my dad's pattern of celebration. I didn't know what the man used to celebrate for. Whenever I had him, it could be Valentine's Day or it could be his birthday or it could be him low-key, low-key celebrating the anniversary of him and my mom. He would just buy biscuits, Fanta, sweets, small, small, small sweets and gather all the children in the area. He would not be playing music. It always works. It could be the children in your church. You buy something for them. You share it. The children in your neighborhood, gather them. Bring out your speaker, your music. Play. You people should dance, 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 dance. Buy sweets, biscuits, everything. You have celebrated Valentine. Then if you have money, you don't even need so much money for this one. You can visit children in the orphanage as well. Celebrating with children can never you can never go wrong. You're going to feel a sense of satisfaction. You're going to feel love. Children, they are the most innocent and pure souls on this earth. So the love you are going to feel by celebrating with children self is 
in some way more than the love you are going to feel by celebrating with a partner and even as a couple you can decide that you know what this year's valentine is not going to be about us it's going to be about the people who don't have anybody to celebrate with them you can go to remand home that is a prison for children prison for minors I stayed at home one time in supply and i have never forgotten my experience they need things in that place they need soap they need sponge they need food they need money you can go there make small donations by the time you are back home you're fulfilled in the manner that you celebrated the day and you're happy i hope that you know these very many ways that i've told you to celebrate valentine as a single person is helpful to you if there are other ways that you know let me know in the comment section down below let's talk do you think that you can celebrate valentine as a single person or do you insist that you need a partner for you to celebrate valentine's day happy valentine's day i hope you can see all the love around you i hope that everybody around you shows you so much love if you don't feel lonely and if you're waiting to be in a relationship if you're waiting for something if you're expecting something beautiful to happen in your life this is a sign that it is going to happen it is about to happen and happiness is on its way to you i love you Mwah.